Guys, something absolutely amazing happened yesterday. My name is Marcy. Thank you for being here. Yesterday, I was going down to the local greenhouse with my husband, and um, we passed a bright pink sign by someone's uh, mailbox. And I just figured it was a garage sale. And he said, Mars, did you see that sign? And I was like, well, what was it, a garage sale? And he said, no, it was Sensi half off sale. In that moment, I really realized, you guys, let me tell you, that not only is my husband the love of my life, but he is like my best friend. Yes, it was a stop all situation. He knew it. I knew it. So, yup, spun it around and went to this um, Sensi half off sale. Um, and even then, when I was in the mix of it, she exceeded my expectations. So, <laughs> half off, we've got Sensi soaks and warmers and wax. I really honed in on the wax. I was thinking, oh my gosh, $3 a bar, are you kidding me? So I did my shopping and when she went to ring me up, she decided to charge me $2 a bar. I just couldn't believe it. And she said, you know, I'm a consultant. I'm just my stash is just so big and out of control. And I just want, I just want to get rid of some of this stuff. And I was so thankful and honestly in the aftermath of all of that I'm realizing that maybe it's time for me to change my consultant uh, currently the situation that I'm in um, she sells Scentsy but um, she that's kind of it she basically opens a party link for me and I shop out of it for two or three months and then in a very business way uh, it's just well I'm ready to close my party out and you know she closes it and lets me know my rewards whereas yesterday was quite an experience this Sensi consultant was very enthusiastic about her the product um, she goes to uh, craft shows and um, sells Scentsy and she makes samples and she's into all the current like launches and flash sales and announcements and notifications and it was just so different an experience for me to just be in the presence of someone that uh, loved Scentsy like I do. So I think because she blessed me so much I think I'm going to move my business her way. So um, just all around win yesterday, you guys. Uh, anyways, on to the wax. That is all that I purchased from her on, on her sale. I'll tell you, I was able to cancel one of my clubs because I got enough stock here on a um, couple of bars that I just wanted a couple more of for my stash. So I'm able to cancel a monthly club, which is completely prosperous. I'm super excited about that. That will leave me only a quarterly club and I'm feeling really good about that. So I guess we'll start with some of the multiples that I bought. I'm not going to go into scent notes, guys. Maybe just a little ad lib here and there. Um, two of Jammy Time, which is just a favorite soothing, um, sort of bedtime scent. Lovely. She had the Glamorous You collection there, which I have um, melted and purchased before. Um, I loaded up on the Sweet But Fierce bar uh, that was in one of the clearances this year, but I never really got to try with grace and keep it sassy. So super happy that I got to smell these. I loved them. I picked them up. I got four of the Scary Good. Um, Scary Good was one in my monthly club that I just really wanted to get uh, one or two more rotations of. So I feel 
like canceling that club is a okay because um all of the scents that were in that club i have like three of at this point so that was sort of my goal oh jack's obsession with two different labels i never picked this one up i was thinking oh spicy apples green apple okay i get the twist oh you know apples i love them but i never picked it up and i see the obsession you guys with jack's obsession it's everything it's wonderful and in fact yesterday i ended up sniffing this so much that i got a little bit of uh must have been oil on the end of my nose <laughs> And I left it there. I just, you know, went about my day able to smell that um, for several hours, which was fantastic and a little bit nutty. But, you know, that's real. Halloween Town, I got three. So two of them with this label. And one with Sally. You guys, Halloween Town is an absolute favorite of mine for the season, and I did not club it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I felt overly confident, like, oh, it's such a popular um, launch that, uh, you know, they'll continue to bring it back. And, um, you know, in the aftermath of not clubbing it, I've had some anxiety, so <laughs> I feel really good now. I um, I had one in my stash, and I'm able to add those three. Cinnamon Buttercream. This one I missed out on, and then in watching reviewers and listening more about this one, I thought, how did this miss my radar? I love mascarpone. I love those cheesecake notes. So... Not only am I able to sniff it, but I was able to buy one. So, oh, wow, that was cool. Cozy Cardigan. This is a favorite of mine, and I have only one in my stash. I really just toiled over clubbing it. Um, it was between this and um, Cashmere and Corduroy because um, I felt like they were, they were kind of alike. But I'm so glad now that I have this bar, I have one other in my stash that gives me two in case it doesn't come back. You know, I, f I feel okay about having two bars of it. Sheer leather, just beautiful masculine scent. Breakfast in bed. Um, this one grew on me. I really appreciate the raspberry um, pumpkin pastry of it. Uh, kind of gives me diner vibes aloe water and cucumber i have had this in bath soak and hand wash and loved it but never did get around to picking up the bar so glad to have it it smells exactly like everything else that i have tried in that line very bright i actually picked that one up for my daughter um i really like blueberry rush and i have that in my club but i thought that she'd really enjoy a um, sugary blueberry sort of scent Redberry and spruce, another one. Always wanted to sniff it. Here it is, I got to sniff it, I loved it. It's a great play on berries and spruce, yes. Blue sage and tonka, um, beautiful scent. I've uh, melted this before. This one I also purchased for my daughter. She went bananas about this one, so that's a gift for her. Almond croissant, I have this in my quarterly club, but always great to have an extra. I just have two more short piles here. Apple butter frosting. So I never have purchased this because I'm not like bananas over bakery. I, I like it, uh, but I get the hype now on this one, guys. I need to listen to you um, bakery lovers more. This is terrific. I thought that it was going to be overly like cloyingly sweet and it's not it's a very well balanced um, bakery scent rise and sunshine i picked up one of these in the flash sale in march and i loved it it's a powerhouse 
the ginger and the citrus are just invigorating and I love that. Pumpkin chai, another one. Um, it's a pumpkin scent. I love pumpkin scents, but I have a few that I, I gravitate towards as favorites. So I never did get to try this one, but super glad. I love it. Yeah, I get I get like that chai, that like uh, spicy chai sort of uh, note. From the current catalog, wow, pink rhubarb sugar. Just could not believe that this was here. Uh, great, great sweet, uh, almost kind of reminds me of raspberry lollipop from the uh, Easter collection. Yeah. Rem, rem, uh, reminds me a little bit about that. Winterberry apple tea. I have this in my club, but uh, again, great to have one more in the stock. Rainbows and butterflies. What joy this brings. Just a beautiful feminine pineapple. Oh, I forget all the notes. Oh, it's just really terrific. Uh, good for a bedroom. And lastly, Fearless by Nature. Guys, I missed out on this one. Um, by the time I got around to catching some of the rave reviews about it, it was gone. And yeah, the rave reviews, I get it. It's minty, minty, fresh, um, sage woods. But I especially get like this mint and I love it. So guys, this is what I did. It was a super terrific day, and I, I think I'm just going to continue to smell them all day long. So have a great day doing whatever you're doing. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.